hello guys and welcome back to my channel hope you guys are doing absolutely great in this video i'm going to show you guys how to create this um creative birthday flyer all right so um without further ado let's get started firstly i'm going to take this and then i'll go ahead to change my background to the color i would like to use which is white and then i will go ahead to import my design elements like the zip png so click on import search on my zip okay i think this is right here okay all right so we need to erase this vector design go back to eraser and then Clicking on this, I will select the square shape and I will erase this one. Okay, I'll erase this one. All right, click on this to erase, and then I can check now. Okay, from here, I will not rotate this because i would want to place my picture this side so i will rotate it and then i'll zoom this a bit stretch to my desired fitting okay now this is cool then the next thing i'm going to do now is to lock my zip and then i will zoom and then i will draw so I'll come over to my draw icon and i'll pick a color so i'm gonna use a different color from the ones on my canvas so let me go with red for now just to draw then i will increase my pen size to my desired choice i think preferably 30. okay all right, so I will disable this zoom. Okay, let me zoom it more. And then I will disable then draw. Okay, just draw. Okay. Let me increase this to like 40 so it will be bolder. And then I just need to brush. Okay, increase more. I need a bold stuff and I need it to be done faster. All right. All I need to do is to cover the parts I want to be covered, just like the left side of the zip. I just need to cover them. Okay. Cover everything. So just take your time to do this. You zoom it to make it bolder so you'll be able to see what you're doing clearly and then you color okay you can also redo this in case of any mistake zoom in zoom out color okay sorry i think um I think we're good to go. So from here, I will check this, and then I will lock my um the stuff I drew. Then from here, I will take this to the back of the zip, and um I have this. Okay, as you can see, we've um succeeded in dividing our cover into two separate parts. Now head to my gallery to import the design the better girl or the better picture you would want to design so i think i'm gonna go with this one okay so i'm going to zoom this 
so this can be clearer this can be bold i think this is great it's great this way okay from here i'll click on my layer and i'll long press and take it to the back all right let me lock this okay so click on layer click on what i've drawn and then head to color to change the color i'm going to make use of the color of the image i brought so click on color enable this the ingredients pick it click on the first dark side and then my color bucket then my color selector will pick this and i will choose the pink parts on the cap check this check this now I'll click on the lighter parts and then click on my color bucket my selector pick the girls png and then i'll select this color in the chest so from here we have two different colors making a gradient you can check this all right then from here i'll click on my zip and then i'll head to stroke and then we'll enable the stroke okay so guys um if you're just joining us for the first time kindly subscribe to the channel like the video if this video really helped you and then share the video as well From here, the next thing I will do now is to import the P, the vector elements I'll be using. Click on import and I'll search. Okay. I'll import this better test effect. So I've downloaded this PSD file already and I've extracted the body effect in PNG format. So I'll leave the, a link in the description where you can get this PSD test. And then if you want the editable format to use the PSD format, you can also drop a comment saying you're interested in getting the um, PSD format and I'll send them to you. But if not, you can also, you can just work with the PNG form below the description. Okay, so the next thing is to import the element. Click on import and then I'll import this. I'm going to crop out the one I need. So we'll be going with this now. Crop this out. Reduce it a bit. Okay, zoom. And then I will draw this to the desired place I want it to be. Yeah, I think this is good. I'll duplicate this and I will bring it also here. Okay, I'll make sure it's aligned with the one I dropped first. Now this is cool. Next, I will copy this crop and I'll pick another element, which is this one. Now I'm going to rotate this. I head over to my rotate icon. I'll rotate this to an angle 90 degrees, I guess. 90 degrees. Yeah, 90. Then I will bring it downward. I'll duplicate and um, I'll bring it out again. Vertically align to the one above. You can zoom your design to make sure this is aligned and then you space it out a little. Okay, I think this is great. 
So the next thing I will do here is to write the name of my celebrant, which is Mitchell. So I capitalize the first letter and others in small letters because I'm going to be using um, a script font, stylish script font. Um, I think this is just great. Links to this font and um, other things are used here will be on the description for you to use. So once you're done watching, you can head straight to download them. And uh, so looking at this, my black is not matching with so I'll have to make use of a better font, sorry, better font color. And I think um, that should be white. So I'll go back to my color and I'll pick white. Yeah, so let me reduce this a bit. Okay. Yeah, I think I need a more stylish fonts. Okay, this was one I used earlier. It's more stylish than the other one. Right, this is cool, this is cool. So I want this test to be a little to be overlapping with the birthday test a little. Okay, then I'll make sure it's balanced all right from here i can then put other tests like the months the dates the months and the year of the celebrant so i'll head over to my phones now choose the bold phones okay i think i used this earlier let's go to color pick a color Okay, let me do this to just 24. Okay, let me increase this a bit to 45. Then from here, I'll duplicate this and I'll edit to the months, October. Okay, I think this should be 30, 38, right? 38. 38. Then next, the year which is 2024. Now I'll bring it over here. Okay, I'll make sure this the spaces between the months, the date, and the year are both equal. So try to make your design, your test, everything you do to be equal and balanced so that your work can be neat and professional. Okay, I think we are good to go. And um okay, let me adjust the three of them to the left a bit. Yeah, okay, I think it's cool here. Yeah, it's cool. Then from here, you can decide to add other things like um, the better wishes. So there are also spaces for that. And then you can do any other thing you want to do. But then this looks good and um, awesome. So, guys, this is about how to make, um, how to craft out a creative birdie flyer design. So, if you really like this and you've learned one or two, kindly subscribe to the channel like the video share it to your friends and i'll see you in my next tutorial